Hello and welcome to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and this is my 2007 Ford Fusion, my first Copart salvage car rebuild project. In this episode, I'm going to try to get this car most of the way put back together. As you can see, we've already had quite a bit of work done with the fenders and the hood uh, being replaced and even in the correct color. As you can see, I've got a new windshield on there. So before I get started putting these parts back on the car, let me show you what I've been up to over the last couple of weeks. In the previous episode, you saw that I test fit the parts that I got from the donor cars. I got a bumper and a hood from one car, and I got uh, the fenders from another car. Actually, the fenders are off of a Mercury Milan. Uh, they're essentially the same vehicle. Anyway, I test fit them up and uh, everything looked good. So now it's time to actually take everything back off and get it ready for paint. So the fenders and the bumper are coming off here and uh, getting cleaned up and prepped to take to my buddy's shop. He actually will do most of the prep work uh, before he paints them. Since I wasn't planning to paint the whole car, what I did was took the fenders, the bumper, and the new Kappa hood that I purchased over to my buddy's shop, and he painted the hood and bumper off the car. He also took the uh, fenders and cleaned them up a little bit, uh, did a little bit of repair where there were a couple of dents and dings, uh, pulled the pinstripes off, etc., and got them all prepped up. Once the hood and bumper were painted and the fenders were prepped, I needed to put everything back on the car and get it ready for final paint. So before I put the hood on, I had to salvage some parts from the underside of my previous two hoods, the original hood of the car and the one I had already bought, uh, to put back onto my new hood. Before installing the new hood on the car, I also installed some new hood hinges. I had gotten some hood hinges off a salvage car, but they weren't uh, allowing the hood to lay properly, so I went ahead and got some replacement hood hinges as well. Shout out to my buddy Scotty for coming over and helping me set the new hood on the car. Uh, setting a hood on a car is something that technically can be done with one person, but it sure makes life a whole lot easier when you've got a second set of hands. Now that all the parts are back on the car, it's time to take the car back to my buddy's shop for final paint. All right, at this stage of the game, the next step for me is to go ahead and get the headlights uh, fit before the bumper goes on. I also need to get the hood latch installed, and then once that stuff's on there, I can go ahead and put uh, the front bumper on. So let's get started.
All right, that's gonna have to be it for today. But the Fusion looks like a Fusion again. It's got its front end back. Still a few odds and ends that I need to do. I need to tweak the fitment of the bumper. I've got uh, a tray underneath that I've got to uh, uh, install still. I've got to assemble the parts that go on the inside of the hood. Um, broke a, uh, a little connector for the washer, uh, for the washer sprayers uh, where the hoses connect. So I'm gonna have to get one of those before I can put that in, but that won't take but a couple of minutes. Need to assemble uh, or reinstall, I should say, a few of the uh, interior panels that we took off when we were working on the seat belts and uh, and then generally clean the car up a little bit but we are really really close so I'm excited to say that the fusion once again looks like a fusion it's got a beautiful new paint job it's got a beautiful new uh, windshield and this car uh, looks respectable again so in the next episode we'll wrap it up do the last little bit of details and uh, then this car will be done. I'm also going to go ahead and get started getting the uh, paperwork with the state done so that I can get this thing retitled uh, so that it can be registered and be drivable again. Uh, but uh, I'll work on that on my own and let you know how that goes. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you following along for this process. It's taken a little longer on this Fusion than I expected. Um, I'm glad I got as much done as I did. It's supposed to snow. It's been a beautiful day today, but it's supposed to snow like six inches or something tomorrow uh, and then rain all, all week next week. So don't know when I'm going to be able to work on the car again, uh, but I'm glad I got it this far. It's very exciting to see it look like this. Thank you for following along. In the next episode after this one, we'll be introducing the new project and showing you what I've got going on uh, with that. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming out really soon. If you like what you saw in this episode, would you please drop a like on this video? And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and do that now as well? Once you've subscribed, if you click that little bell icon, you can be notified each time I upload a new episode. Thank you for following along on my rebuilds. We'll see you in the next episode.